hopefully so we can see a little bit better. Now then, we're going to need to grab that vertex, E, F to form a face. Okay, we need to smooth it. There we go. F, there we go. And let's grab that, pull it back in. Okay, let's weld those center okay and then we'll create a face out of these okay smooth it then create a face okay smooth it again eventually it will let us create a face there we go and it looks like that's going to give us some odd geometry inside there that we need to fix um, <clears throat> but how to fix something like that? It's kind of a trick. Because what it, if I put add a loop right here, it basically creates a spiral that leads out. I'll show you. See how that goes? All the way up around the nose. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we add a million of them. That's the mouse wheel, by the way. I, I forgot to mention that. Um, if you scroll up or down on the mouse wheel, you can set the number of divisions you're adding. Um, but I'm just going to right click to get out of that. Well, let's just create a face right there. That may, that may actually help us. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we still kind of have uh, our spiral, which eh, not so sure. Error loop crosses itself. I'm not sure, sir. I'm so sure it's it matters or not. Let's just undo that. But we can. We cannot worry about it right now because we were working on the eyes. I'm getting ahead of myself. So anyway, let's go to the front and see that the eye is a little bit tight here. Let's pull that out and adding some eyelid shape let's go to the right let's pull those back and let's go to the front and pull them out a little bit we're going to do the same thing on this side that's going to give us our little pinched area um, on our eyelid just going to use the widget to take it back and out. There we go. Okay. We're going to add another loop around here. I'm just going to grab these top ones. Let's go to the right. Let's pull those down a little. Actually, I'm going to pull them down substantially looks a lot better. All these look a little bit flat. Pull them out. There we go. Okay. So we're getting a lot closer to a finished head. Let's grab those, scale them in. Let's go back to median. Okay, let's go to the front, and I want to kind of mostly work on uh, the corners of the mouth right now. Taking those in and back. There we go. Take them back a little bit more. Let's go to the right, grab those and pull them up a little bit. It's kind of adding a little bit of shape. Okay. Whoops, did the wrong ones. Or I just didn't do all of the right ones more appropriately. Let's actually pull that one out a little bit. Whoops, and then these. I want it to curve a little. 
go to the right, grab those, pull them out. Let's pull them down a little bit as well. Okay. Now, um, let's select this loop in here and E to extrude it. Let's go on Y, pull it back. And I'm going to scale it up. Let's look at it from the back. And um, I kind of want to tweak it a little bit, so Control 1 to actually go to the back view. So start tweaking these around. We want to round out the inner mouth. Okay, let's select that as a loop. Shift S, cursor selection, and let's actually just kind of use the left mouse button to put it close to the center. And we'll say two sphere. Okay. Maybe that was a bit much. Two sphere, let's do it uh, about 60%. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now we'll just scale it up a little bit, and then we'll scale it a little bit on X. Move it out on X a little bit as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and give that another extrusion. And go on Y. Let's just take it straight back. About halfway into the mouth and then we'll scale it down on Y down to zero. That'll be good enough for now. Okay. Now then, let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to add a loop right here. Let's get it pretty close to the mouth, the rim of the mouth. Let's take it out just a little bit. And let's go to the right. Whoops. I keep pressing R because that's a hotkey I have for another application. And just kind of shape this out a little bit better. Now this part of the lip is extremely odd looking. Let's take that back a little bit. And I'm not going to rotate it or anything. Take that in. Okay. Take these back. a little bit better. Bottom lip's okay. And pull these out a little bit. Kind of fatten it up. Pull these in. And we'll probably end up doing one more division right along here. Just making these a little bit more feminine. And we can tweak those lips for days, probably. I know I could, because that's just how I am. I'm not trying to be weird. I'm just, yeah, maybe I should shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we're already almost 30 minutes into it. I don't want to get uh, too carried away. And we pretty much have most of the detail we need to finish the head or add even more detail depending on which way we go with it. We'll probably add a little bit more. So let's go ahead and tab out of edit mode. And 
and save our scene. Plug in only one. If you just hit plus, it'll append it up or down, so we can go all the way up to like 10. And now it's not actually plus. Don't hold down shift for plus or anything. Just just hit the plus or minus key, which I'm using a German keyboard, so it's something else. <laughs> so I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Anyway, <coughs> let's uh, save the file and uh, thank everybody for watching. And hopefully you're getting more out of this. I hope. If not, you know, then you probably don't need to be watching the videos if you're not getting anything out of this. So anyway, thank you for watching though, and I'll see you in the next video.